Are you willing to take worship seriously? In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, there's some trouble in the Corinthian church, especially in their worship gatherings. We know that because Paul says, when I come to you, I have a lot more to talk to you about at the very end of the chapter. But he also mentions that women should be speaking and prophesying and praying publicly. This will be important in just a few chapters. But when they do so, they should dress as women should dress. And men should dress as men should dress. And they should remember that this is part of the created order, that when we come to worship, we're about bringing the new heaven and earth together, hearkening back to the Garden of Eden, where woman was created from man, and women give birth to all men, and we're independent, interdependent on each other. And then when the rich and the poor come together to celebrate the love feast and the Lord's Supper, there shouldn't be some that are eating too much and some that are hungry. They should share with each other. And Noah should be coming drunk. And everyone, male and female, Jew and Gentile, slave and free, have the opportunity to come to Jesus because he sacrificed his body, shed his blood. But we need to examine our hearts before we take part in communion. We need to take worship seriously.